So, hello everyone, my name is Jesper, I'm from Astera. This tutorial is about Astera updates. So, all from the app and also updating the Astera box and also updating the Astera lights. First things first, we of course need to update our Astera app because we are constantly updating the app with new features, etc. So, once we update the Astera app, the new features will also be a part of this. Now to check if there is an update available, we can now go to the App Store. If you have an Android device, it's on Play Store. Once we go in here, we can tap the search and search for Astera and we will also be able to see if there is actually a new update for the Astera app. In case you want to be sure that it automatically updates also when you are connected to Wi-Fi, for instance on the iPad here, we can go to the settings, then we can go to the App Store and then up on top automatic downloads app updates. So you will always be sure to have automatic updates on the Astera app once we release a new one. Android devices might have a different workaround to enable auto updates, but the concept here is the same. So make sure to have the auto update enabled because whenever you are connected to the Wi-Fi, it will take care of the update all by itself. Also, depending whether you have an Android device or iOS, then of course it's Play Store or it's App Store. Once we release a new firmware for the app version here as well, it also contains a set of firmwares, for instance for the Astera box here and also for the lights. So now that the app is updated, which I also mentioned contains a set of firmwares for both the Astera box and also the lights, then we are ready to update the Astera box. So the first thing we of course have to do is to turn on the Astera box so we can connect it with the Astera app. Then we can push the three lines up in the right corner, refresh connection so it searches for all available Astera boxes. And then the little label behind on the Astera box here is telling us the name and then once we push it, we'll ask for the Bluetooth pairing pin, type it in and then push the pair button. Once it's connected, it will immediately pop up with an install in case there is a new firmware available. Then we have the option to choose later, could be the situation is not right, then we can have it remind in one hour and also remind us in 24 hours. However, in this case, we want to install it right away. The update here, guys, be patient, it can take some time. Once it's done transferring the firmware to the Astera box, the box will be restarting and then install the firmware. So it's basically rebooting to install the new firmware, what we just uploaded to the Astera box. Now up at the top here in the app, you will see it went from 5.9.18 and to 5.9.20. So it was a successful update. In case we want to do it with a light that have direct Bluetooth control, it works just the same as the Astera box. We need to turn on the Bluetooth enabled light and then we have to hold down the power button here to make it blink blue, release and then in the app here on the right side, refresh connection. Then the next bulb here will come up and then it will just connect by itself here and we will then say pair. As you see here, it automatically asks if we want to install it now or if we want to wait for later. So it's the same concept as the Astera box. So that's the way to update the Astera box or a Bluetooth enabled light. The cool thing is that we have the option to say later, so one hour later or maybe 24 hours later, or we can install it right away, depending on what you are doing and what fits the situation, of course. So now that we have updated the Astera app and also the Astera box or maybe even a Bluetooth enabled light, the one you want to use as a transmitter, then we are actually ready to update the firmware in the lights as well. Now after the update of the Astera box or one of our Bluetooth enabled lights, I'm going to pair the lights I want to update and also control afterwards to the app. Pair with lights, OK. Now once they are paired, they will of course start to pop up here in our list of connected lights. Once they do that, we can head here to the main menu and you will see app settings here down below. 
up on top we will have lights background update. When we push that one, they will actually already start to update the lights that we have connected here. And it will start to do that automatically to make sure that you always have the latest firmware. So it actually makes a background update without you even have to worry about it. It just takes one lamp type at the time and it will always upload the latest firmware that came here with the app version. Once we load new firmwares up on our server, it will also automatically come into the app to make sure that you of course have the latest firmware. In case you don't want the lights to automatically update, then we also have the option here to turn it off but I always and highly recommend to have it on because this is the safest way to update the lights and you also don't need to think about updating your lights and getting the latest firmwares. The cool thing here in the list is actually that it tells you if your lights is out of date or if it's up to date. Now we see the Titan here is uploading the firmware. We just have to wait until it's done. Then we can reboot and install the firmware afterwards. So once it's done updating, it will actually ask you to reboot and install update on the two Titan tubes, what I have laying right here. And it immediately starts to upload the new firmware to the two Helios, what I have laying right there. Now we can reboot and install and also be a bit patient here. It takes a little while. You don't necessarily need to follow the update here in the lights background update. If there is a firmware available and you are using it on a gig or on a set, then it will automatically update in the background. After the job, you will of course turn off the lights and the next time you turn on the lights, it will reboot and install the firmware. Also recommended here when you are updating the Astera lights, please don't keep the Astera box too close to the lights. It should rather be around one meters distance. But in case the firmware doesn't get uploaded, you will also figure that out and then just keep in mind that you might need to rearrange where the Astero box is standing and maybe put it a little bit further away or maybe even a bit closer. Around one meter is quite good. So in case there is an update for a new version of the Astero app and also the Astero box, just make sure to follow these steps. Then the whole firmware upload and also installation will be very, very smooth. The cool thing is that you, of course, have the lights background update, so you don't need to worry about if they get updated, but you can always go in the app and see if you have lights that are out of date or if your lights are actually up to date. So this is how you update all from the Astera app to the Astera box and also all the lights. Guys, I hope you learned a bunch of things here. Thank you for watching.